the old nasty. We gotta get a poster of this thing. We got so many uh, people demanding a poster of this truck. We'll get, we'll get you one. It just needs washed. We need to take it out, polish it up, and then we'll get you guys a poster of this. I love uh, and appreciate all the support on the posters thus far. Um, a lot of people jumped on that last night, so thank you. You guys are awesome. And I'm used to having my Longhorn where I just walk up and touch the door or breathe by the door handle and then the um, door unlocks and now we have to use an actual button. The world is the world is getting really tough out there, you know. So, <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> Got some decals. Look how those just like started folding up because of how cold it is out here. It's ridiculous. Fire it right up. It's it's nippy out. It's all it says is ice. What is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the videos. I've been trying to produce more content than I have been lately. It's it's been hectic, but I'm just trying to grab the camera and just film whatever we happen to do. So today we've got a few things on the agenda that we'll kind of just let happen, and you guys will just see them as they go. But the first thing we got to do right now is go to our house the new house me and Reagan got, and then meet the Wi-Fi guy to set up Wi-Fi, because being, you know, YouTubers and social media people in general, an internet-based business, you gotta have the Wi-Fi, or you ain't gonna be making the sales on the internet. So we gotta go and get that set up, so we can even work from the house. She's over here shivering, chattering her teeth out. Shut. Jeez, no, it is cold out, it's, it's cold. She like, look. I refuse to wear a jacket. Just See that? Cold it is. <laughs> it's called one of a kind. You can only get it on this truck. It's a silver LNP shield decal. You can only get it on this truck. So just for that reason, you should probably enter to win this Duramax. <laughs> Information in the description below. Every $15 you spend on LNP gear, LNP, or just any of the gear on my website, team-lnp.myshopify.com, gets you another entry closer to winning this pickup truck. And it's a beautiful one. So let's get on the road. Don't forget to enter that giveaway. Literally, it was just filming, pulling into the shop. And then my camera kicked off, so I'm assuming it wasn't recording. It kind of sucks, but. So we're back in the shop. Here's, here's this poster. By the way, these posters, if you're stopping in, when you didn't see yesterday's video, but you gotta keep up on the videos. These posters, they're really nice, but the glare with the lighting is really bad because of the plastic thing on here. Which, by the way, yours does not come with the picture frame in the plastic. Um, cover over the front. These are just framed, um, and that's why the glare is on there really bad. It, it's just it just picks it up on camera. I don't know how to explain it. I thought you guys. I hopefully you understand. But we're gonna get this shop door all closed up, and then get this heater pulled out and kick it on. I need to know. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Good. So what is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Fantastic, that's a new word, <laughs> fantastic. We are actually getting this truck picked up by our good friend Devin. He's a guy, again, I'll say it, he lifted the King Ranch, he did the lift work on my Longhorn, he did the leveling kit on Nasty Red. He's done a lot of stuff, he's a really good connection, he's a friend of ours now, and he is like the go-to guy now, like I don't even contact shops for lift kit stuff and suspension work or like little stuff like this. I just go to him or somebody like him and I'm just like, hey, you really love what you do, you're really good at it, and it makes a big difference when somebody, not just like, hey, yeah, I can do the job, but like, they want to do the job because they love doing it anyway. Those are the people I want working with me on my stuff, and uh, really, really cool dudes. So anyways, we're, he's gonna be picking up this truck, where he's gonna trailer it back to his shop. He is going to be doing a lot of the installing of a lot of the crap that still hasn't been installed on this truck. Now, in terms of what hasn't yet been installed on this truck, the manifold is on, and that's already tapped for the gauges gauges and stuff. Um, some of the oil lines are already in here. The compound turbo kit is bolted up. It's not perfect and it's not permanent yet. Um, it's still, you can see some stuff still moves around, but it is, it is hanging there in the truck with everything capped off to make sure nothing gets up in there. Now I am going to be trying to go up there and meeting up with him on and off to kind of film some of the work getting done. He's going to be picking the truck up. He's going to be doing a lot of the work finishing on it. 
because I just don't, like I know some of you guys think I'm just BS and they go, oh, dude, suck it up and get, get all the work done yourself. I, we just don't have the time to do it all. I've got nothing to prove. I don't need to work on the truck to prove that I could learn how to do it. It's not about me learning how to do it and making myself do it. I just don't have the time to do it. And I'm, I'm really good at what I do, so I stick to that. And if I'm not quite as good as somebody else at that, I can own up to that. I'm man enough to say that. And I pay somebody who is really good at what they do and I have them help me out. There's no shame in that. Right now we're gonna grab the valve covers and throw them on here just to get them on here so when he trailers this thing up, then he's not driving down the road with no valve covers on and then dirt and mud and crap, let's, let's say, flies up in here. So we're gonna get this all put together and uh, just throw the valve covers on and that's pretty much it. We're gonna leave the hood off, I think. Uh, but we are going to throw the valve covers on. So for everybody that doesn't know what the deal is with this project, because there's new people that stop in every day by the hundreds, actually probably a couple thousand new faces stop in on the channel, just not all of them subscribe. Which by the way, believe it or not, they say that 60% of my most active people on my channel aren't even subscribed yet. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hit the freaking subscribe button, turn that red button gray and hit the bell. But anyways, this truck is the Project Play Truck, Project Street Truck, first gen, million mile pickup. And I think the truck has been, the engine has been pulled and it's been overhauled at some point. Um, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm assuming it has been. It runs really good, it really does run amazing. So we've got a little bit of a mouse problem in this barn. Hear I just heard a mouse run through that box. Okay, so we got a little bit of a mouse problem in this barn that we just found out about about say two months ago. Started to realize it. They ate. Okay, so little little Jerry ate the freaking <laughs> ate the freaking manual that we need to install these compounds. Look at this crap. Ate the paper. Luckily, I had a microfiber towel snug fit around this, but just this little corner was open apparently. They were eating this paper and a little bit of it fell in right next to, to the push rod. Didn't fall down in there luckily, but it got really close. So for all of you people out there who love no color coordination at all under the hood of a truck, this is kind of a joke because most people have something in mind that they like. <laughs> Look at all the different shades of blue. There's this blue, that blue, that blue, that blue. None of them are the same color code at all. But the goal of this is not like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna slap a compound kit on a truck with a VE pump and hope I'm gonna get like 600 horsepower. That's not, that's never been the goal with this thing, with this new setup. That was a goal, not with the VE pump, but I was gonna P-pump it. But, since that's not the goal anymore, the horsepower goal is a lot less, obviously. And uh, I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna do that because this is just gonna create more work and yeah, it's gonna get more power, but with what I'm actually gonna do with the truck, what am I gonna do with another 300 horse? You know what I mean? Like, in a truck this light, 375 is still gonna rip it around and that'd be a lot of fun. We're actually going to be doing a lot of selling of crap that we don't need here because we're not really gonna have uh, space to store all this crap at our new shop and my dad, I'm sure, would love to have this out of his shop. So these were actually posting for sale. By the time you see the video tonight, they're probably gonna be gone because we posted them, what, five minutes ago? Yeah. And we've already got like five people that wanna buy them and they're like, I'll come bring you to cash today. So these are probably gonna be gone by the time you see the video. Um, the four-wheeler's for sale. It's not a bad four-wheeler. I just don't have time to ride it. And if I have time to sit around and ride this thing, I should probably be hanging out with my fiance. So this is for sale, six grand OBO. But I'll be very honest with you, first person to come to me with five grand, you can take it home. Wheels and tires from the OBS truck for sale. Okay, 22, no they're 22s, I thought they were 24s. The 22 by 14s, they're fuel mavericks with a wrap. Actually, I'm gonna see if the wrap comes, does the wrap come off? Well, some people might want the wrap. Well. It should come off. Yeah, okay, I just tried to peel up the little edge. It does, it does come off. And no, that's not the first little spot that's peeled up. There's a couple spots where it's peeled up anyway. Um, but if you take this edge, like right here, you could easily grab this and it'll probably mask off. And it's just a black lip <coughs> with this little milled like accent around the lip. Um, like this wheel is totally good 
No curb marks on this one at all. It's actually really nice. They're 22 by 14 Fuel Mavericks. This one, I thought two of them were in really good shape. This one's in really good shape. Not a bunch of curb marks. The backs of them are really nice too. And I think two of them had some scuff marks. This one has a little bit, but not bad. It's like a little bit here, a little bit down there. And then on this one is the worst one right here. This whole big old gash right there. But you know what? Take a Sharpie, fill it in, you're good to go. Ain't nobody gonna care. You're gonna go show up to the truck meet, everybody's gonna be like, oh dang, look at those perfect wheels. How much you pay for them? $1,200, you can have them. So come get them, 1200 bucks. Um, they just need washed. They're really good wheels. They're just dirty. 22 by 14s. If you go look them up online, they're gonna be, a lot of them, I think most of them are between 450 or 650 per wheel, I think. But just make me an offer. If you, if you offer me something that's even somewhat within that range, just shoot me an offer. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. I just wanna get them out of here. Time to try to get this first gen pushed out of here. was so much fun so I had completely forgot that there was a pile of fluid under this so if you see a slip mark you'll probably hear the audio if I leave it in there I don't know I was pushing with all my might to get that thing rolling because it kind of goes down into this dip and then it goes back uphill a little bit so it's kind of every all fluids kind of drained down to the center and I'm like pushing as hard as I can to get it up out of that little like hole there and I step straight in that pile of stuff meanwhile I'm looking up in the air just pushing as hard as I can and just smack and smash my elbows straight on the concrete and she's over here laughing her head off meanwhile I could have just shattered my elbow <laughs> and my wrists both hurt like crazy from smashing them on the concrete I was focused on turning. it's not even funny <laughs> end of the joke it's not funny anymore anyway so that sucked that sucked like a lot. She's like, oh, I love you, haha. Huh? I really did. Oh, you look like such concerned. an idiot. I just saw your head up there pushing that thing and you just like disappeared and I heard a big crack. No, I and you're like on the ground. I'm like, you're such a thanks, butt. Thanks. I didn't even see you fall. All I, I was she so just focused. looked in the rear view and she's like, no. where did he go? Is that some kind of magic so act? Like you disappeared. I thought something fell. <laughs> something did fall. You have to listen to that. 5'11, 175 pounds, that's what fell. <laughs> you have to take that video off. <laughs> No, that's staying in there. No, you're not. Nope, it's staying. So here no. is the first gen out in the daylight. You guys haven't seen this thing out in a long time. Like a long time. Actually, I might, I might, I might title this. We got the first gen rolling. Clickbait, right? Now. There you go. There's your thumbnail came in. So, in the title. So, yeah, everything in here. Let me go through just really quick what we have in here. It's the rest of the compound turbo kit. We've got the, uh, obviously, the cold air intake stuff. We've got the oil drain ports and lines. We've got ARP head studs. We've got a um, 3K governor spring. Three or 4K, can't remember. We got machined rocker pedestals, 120 horse injectors. Actually, I don't know if they're 120 horse or 90 horse or what they are. Whatever they were, they were specifically for about a 375 horse goal, 350 horse goal on this truck. Um, and by the way, um, when it comes to this compound kit, you don't have to run 500 plus horse for this to be effective. They say that these kits are good from 150 horse to 500 horse. And since we're gonna be in that give or take, you know, 350 to 375 range is what we're hoping for, it'll still be very effective. You know what I mean? It'll be right in the middle of that range that this kit's good for. And it should run really good. Like it should be a lot of fun when it's done. It's still gonna be a, just a little tire shredder. I told him we should get like bucket seats then get like racing straps. Why am I do this? It's more like this. Yeah. But, but anyways, that'd be cool. Yeah, three point harness is what she's talking about for uh for the first gen. I don't know, that's an idea she said would be kinda cool. I think it'd be cool. But so yeah, that's gonna put a wrap on this video because it's cold as a mug out here. We are freezing, freezing, freezing. It is too cold. And I told her probably starting this next year, because we're gonna be getting married in a couple months, but starting next January, I said I'm gonna be a snowbird. So all my boys down in the south, I'm headed your way for this time next year because it's just too cold. Like my thoughts aren't as good. What are you laughing about? <laughs> what is so funny? I can't go laughing about it. Oh, you just had to be there.
<laughs> no, no, you didn't I have to be there. Concerned. You were not concerned. She's like, I was so concerned. And then she starts busting out laughing. I'm like, you were not concerned. <laughs> You'll see my reaction. <laughs> Anyways, I love you. But that's not funny anymore because it I hurt. Love you. I do. I'm back there on the ground with I both love, my elbows. Both I, listen, I both arm. my elbows were numb. I couldn't I feel from my elbow to my wrist. I couldn't feel my arm. I'm sorry. From cracking them on the concrete, she's laughing. I I came I came running. <laughs> she came running five minutes later. Oh no! She's I like, did not. it's not moving. <laughs> Uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. No. I love you. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Leave your comments down below. Enter that giveaway for the 2008 LMM Duramax because we've got posters, we've got hats, we've got keychains, decals, t-shirts, hoodies, all that kind of stuff. Go grab some merch. Get entered to win. Ends in about 30 days. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much. I love you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.